Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, I wanna to talk to you about love triangles, but not just any love triangles, twin flame love triangles. And in many ways, we can talk about this as a twin flame rectangle. What do I even mean by that? Well, if you're new to my channel, I talk to people and help them on their journey with your spiritual awakening, with your twin flame activations, with twin flame stuff, and a whole lot of healing and growing that goes with it. When it comes to twin flame and love triangles, okay, these aren't ordinary things because I'll tell you why. This isn't just someone popping out to have an affair. This is where the energy gets sucked out. It is siphoned off. Someone is stealing the energy and they you've usually have been stealing it for a really long time. And what do I mean by that? We bump into the same soulmate sometimes again and again and again ad nauseum until we can't even recognize things. We're too close to the forest to see the trees. Now this is where I come in because not only am I adept at the energies, not only am I adept at recognizing things for what they are, I am a master healer that is able to help people disentangle and start extracting themselves and get their own energy back. And we're not just talking about some floaty universal energy. No, this is much more powerful. This is twin flame love energy. A couple of things to know about this. This is the stuff that makes people sick. And we're talking like really serious sick shit. We're talking about not good stuff, things that lead to chronic illness, things that lead to things like diabetes, other chronic conditions, hypoglycemia, addictions, all that kind of stuff. And literally you could say to some people like, well, no wonder people drink and drug on the journey, right? except that's not normal and that's not what your soul wants for you. Your soul wants you to unplug, extricate yourself and get moving with what you're really here for. So let's talk a little bit about a love triangle. Love triangles traditionally have been thought as where you have two people and one of them is out there seeing someone else and they're getting all their needs met because they're piecing it together. Okay, that is actually not what happens in a real twin flame union. In a twin flame union, you're getting the needs met from above you and it funnels down into your body. Your body is the vessel that all that love energy is being poured into so that you can heal, you can grow. And sometimes that means you outgrow these relationships. So in another timeline, it may have been tolerable. It may have been socially acceptable. If he's a wealthy man, he may be, you know, even condoned to have a mistress or something. If she is barren and he's too old, it may be condoned for her to have someone on the side who impregnates her and then he raises, he does the right thing, he raises the child as his own, right? We're not in those timelines anymore. Rewind and start to do it the right way. So what do we have now? What we have is a modern couple and her issues are all coming up to be dealt with. She has daddy issues. She has issues with authority figures. She has issues that she can't even recognize because he's so dominant, he naturally puts her off balance. And he's not even trying to do it sometimes, but he has learned how to. She thinks he's unfeeling, but what's really happening? He's just a soulmate. He's not even a divine counterpart. He's a soulmate and she cannot tap into him. She can't read his mind. She can't read his heart. She can't read him sometimes. And he really doesn't even bother to try to read her. So you have these things, situations sometimes where She's trying to make it work, except what's happening. Her real person, he's flat out because all the energy is being given to the other person. So this is how the energy is being triangulated off, off of him. He's feeling sick. He chronically has something that his doctors are telling him might be autoimmune. Then he gets a little better because he's younger and healthier. 
Why? Because they're similar in age. This big age difference doesn't make him her twin flame. This point of origin does not make him her twin flame. He is. He's practically the boy next door. So how is he going to get better? Well, what I do is I unravel his energy from her and they can begin to connect energetically. They bolster each other up. He comes up, she comes up. In fact, she goes start climbing the mountain first and he follows suit and she does and he does. Now they're not always at pace with each other, but they are both moving. Now little do we know that this authority figure also has his own person he's attached to. So what do we have here? We have a love rectangle. Is she siphoning off her energy? Yeah, in some ways she is taking what actually belongs to her. And he has dreams of her sometimes. He has dreams and she feels things. She feels when he's tense. She feels when he's argumentative. She can sense it and worse, she's experiencing it. It makes her feel very ragey. It feels, it makes her feel very angry even when it's not her time of the month. It makes her feel off balance. It makes her feel not balanced with people that she really cares about. So what are we gonna do about all this stuff? Well, in some ways, the answers are being taken right out of people's hands. They're activating and they have to start doing the work. How do these two really, they're seeing themselves grow apart. They can't match each other. Doesn't matter how femmy she is. It doesn't matter how bossy he is. It's not going to work. They drift. They drift. They start doing that soulmate drift and they just can't hold it together. Now what usually happens is this becomes some kind of a business relationship. Well, he's a good provider. Well, I need someone to cook and clean. That frees me up so that I can do my stuff. And all of a sudden what you've got is essentially a business relationship. That's not gonna cut it either because she's actually intended to be with the person who she is really truly connected to. Now she may think about stepping out and that's not recommended because what happens is that just contributes to the mess. Everyone becomes a hot mess. I drink too much. Yes, you do, and I can feel it. You know who's really feeling it? His real person. She feels hangover. She feels very addled in the head. She feels brain fog. She feels a lot of stuff. She needs some Valium or something to calm down. It is so intense in their house. They haven't really been with each other intimately in a long time. Now, this is very typical of the progression of the other relationships. But what is not understood, and this is where you and many people need to start doing the work, is to unplug, extricate yourself. Now, what about married people? If they're in a relationship and they're married or they have a long-term relationship, here's some good news for you. You can still do this even while you're in the relationship. And I teach you how and I teach you what to do and I teach you how to bolster yourself up using your light body to not just dodge and deflect, but deflect everything that's negative, to get rid of the anxiety, to see it how it is and to progress along because you get the law of diminishing effect it has less and less and less effect on you. The more and more and more that you use your light body and you use your high heart. Would you like that to happen? Would you like to somehow have a smoother ride with your relationships, all of your relationships? Would you like to have a smoother ride in your marriage and put it on your terms when you decide that it's time to leave that marriage. Do you have other responsibilities? Because to really spell this out, you're not expected to do this in a hot mess way. You're not expected to do it by becoming, you know, deeper into your addictions or seeking something that 
is floating your boat when you're really here for something else. So I hope that this video has helped you. If you strongly feel that you're not sure what is the relationship, what is the relationship with this person you met? Is it really a twin flame relationship? Because I'll tell you another erroneous thing, misinformation thing that's out there. He gives her such a hard time, she could potentially believe maybe this is her twin flame. Maybe it's her lot in life. Maybe he's the bane of her existence. That is not a twin flame. So let's pull our heads out of that way of thinking, out of that rationale, and put our hearts to work. Because the heart will steer you where you need to go. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.